someone who has been effective has been Benzema and here's Cristiano. Well, Real Madrid continue to demonstrate that they're almost unstoppable at the Santiago Bernabeu. James. Oh, that is spectacular from James Rodriguez, you know. But now they've got to allay the doubts on the road. Since Zinedine Zidane's arrivals, the Whites have visited Andalusia twice and haven't been convincing. And they'll make a third trip down south to take on Malaga at La Rosaleda this Sunday. The única, only única cosa is that we have, and we will always work hard, to try to do less. Menos... The only thing we have to do, and it's something we'll be working on, is to try to make as few mistakes as possible. In the first goal, Rafael tried to play it to Kaylor. And if it happens again, I'll say the same thing to him. This is football. These things can happen. Son cosas de fútbol que puede pasar, pero con tranquilidad. The Madrileños have won in their last two visits to the Costa del Sol but they showed signs of defensive weakness in their win against Athletic last weekend. Malaga arrive on the back of defeat against Villarreal, but with the confidence of having been the only side, apart from Barca, to have taken points away from the Bernabeu this season. Cristiano Ronaldo, and it's well saved. Bajal brings it forward and it lands for Cristiano Ronaldo. It's another fantastic... It's difficult, no? Como todo mundo. It'll be difficult, as everyone knows, it won't be easy. They always push you, and you can't relax at any time. The Andalusians are in good form and have won three of their last four games at La Rosaleda. Besides, Recio is back from a band to strengthen the midfield. The problem for Javi Gracia is on the wings, where Christian Atsu has joined Jordi Castro and Juan Carlos on the sidelines with an injury. Meanwhile, Zidane is without Rafael Varane after the Frenchman capped off a terrible afternoon against the Athletic Club with a sending off. Zinedine Zidane's adaptation period is over, and the fans will now start to demand more from their players away from the Santiago Bernabeu. Real Madrid have a point to prove at La Rosaleda. chapter in the title race will get underway this Saturday at the Gran Canaria Stadium, where Union Deportiva Las Palmas host Football Club Barcelona. The Islanders have lost four of the last five fixtures and continue in the bottom three. The visit of the leaders doesn't come at the best time, but in Las Palmas they're aware that they have to face the Catalans sooner or later. Bueno. You have to play everyone, and you never know if they're going to have an off day, so we have to be prepared. If they have an off day and we're not prepared, then we won't get the win. It will be very difficult, but we're at home and we'll give it a go. Taking this shot over the wall again! Luis Enrique's side put on a tremendous display of attacking football in the second half of their clash against Celta Vigo last weekend in the match that took their unbeaten run up to 30 games. Hasn't found a way back. Here's Neymar. It's a gorgeous chip from Neymar. Besides winning titles, we try to have fun and make our fans enjoy themselves in a sporting and spectacular manner. And that's it. There's no doubt that the Barca fans are massively enjoying the flair football of Luis Suarez, Neymar and Leo Messi but they face a side that made life difficult for them in the previous meeting this season. After two games away from the island, the Canaries return to their home ground, 
where they picked up 18 of their 21 points. Little back healer from Tanner, Rocky Messer over the top, William Jose! Oh, he somehow found a way through the big Brazilian. It's a magical. Wacaso misses the game through suspension, as does Hernan Santana after picking up another injury against Sevilla last weekend. Barcelona have their entire squad available to try and win at a ground they haven't visited in 15 years, thereby prolonging their magnificent run of results.